Hello everyone. Today I'll show you how to create a full screen interstitial ad application using Swift UI and Google Mobile Ads. In this application, we'll use a button to display an ad, and the ad will automatically show when it's loaded. Let's get started. Hello everyone. Today to integrate Google Mobile Ads into our Swift UI project, we will first add the Google Mobile Ads library to our project using CocoaPods. We open the terminal and go to the directory where our project is located. Here we use the pod init command to create a pod file. We open the created pod file file with a text editor and add the code line in the description. You can find the Google Mobile Ads pod in the description. After adding it, we install the pods using the pod install command in terminal. Now we are ready to write add codes. We create a Swift file called interstitial view. The ad structure we will use will allow us to show ads under certain conditions or frequency while users are using your app. We will use this binding variable to control whether the ad is shown or not. This is a flag that indicates whether the conditional ad will be shown or not. If true, the ad display will be conditional on certain conditions. We will create a class called interstitial ad coordinators that will manage the loading and display of the ad. We define a closing function to be executed when the ad is shown. To check for the existence of a purchased product, we create an app storage variable called is purchased. If the product has been purchased, the ad will not be shown. In the body, the is purchase condition will check if the user has not purchased the app. This class contains the functionality needed to load and manage the full page ad. It is derived from the NSObject class and also implements the Godful Screen Content Delegate protocol. This protocol is used to track full page ad events, a private variable that stores the full page ad object. This object is used for loading and displaying the ad. A string variable that stores the name of the network on which the ad is loaded. This function is used to load a full page ad. It loads the ad using the guard interstitial ad load operation and calls the ad status closure when the loading process is complete. It also saves the name of the loaded network of the ad in the ad network name variable. We create a Swift file called add units for the ad unit and its IDs. The enum and unit ID computed properties we will define provide a useful structure for managing different ad units and their IDs. Then we create a unit ID variable. We will use test ad IDs in the if debug section. We return to the interstitial coordinator class again. We will go back to our load ad function and finish by writing the code that will allow us to show the ads. This line starts the loading of the full page ad. The with ad unit ID parameter specifies the ID of the ad unit. Ad unit home interstitial unit ID takes the ad unit ID from the ad unit enum we defined. A structure called ad view controller representable that will be used for ad display. This structure will allow us to use UI kit based ad display operations in Swift UI. This Swift structure implements the UIView controller representable protocol. The structure represents a UIView controller and we can use this structure in Swift UI. The computed property will return the AdView controller representable structure to be used for ad display. In this code fragment, we add the view named AdViewController-Representable-View to the background for full screen ad display. We write a closing function that will run when the value of the show interstitial variable changes. If show interstitial is true, the ad will be loaded and shown. Also, the onShow function will be called during the ad display. Conditional interstitial is the function that manages conditional ad display configures the display of ads for a certain number of times or for a certain time interval. We create a Swift file called ad setting to introduce real ad IDs. 
After defining it, we set the display time of the interstitial and how many clicks it will be activated. Conditional interstitial is the function that manages conditional ad display. Configures the display of ads for a certain number of times or for a certain time interval. Then we save the settings to user defaults. We come to unchange and write our last data and finish. Finally, if we want more detailed data, we define the following functions.